Okay, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Helen Frankel, better known as That Russian Girl, for, for introducing me to this venue. Helen can be with us tonight. Uh, and also, of course, Russ Sherrick for allowing me to, uh, sharing, sharing some of, uh, allowing me to share some of my thoughts with you uh, tonight. I have to preface this by saying that uh, if you remember in the winter of 11, we had a really bad snowstorm and I was feeling a little cabin fever, so I got out a pencil and paper without any specific intent. And uh, sat down, wrote a poem, wrote another, and in three days I wrote about 25. Uh, th those were my first poems. Now mo most of them are, are risque and most of them are limericks. I don't know what that says about my personality. But I'm up to about 50 or so. And uh, these are just, uh, these are a few of them. Uh, first of all, any has anybody had any experience with online dating sites? Yeah. Okay, well this one is about one called My Experiences on OK Cupid. Okay? Okay? I, I see you. In looking for love on OK Cupid, are we hopeful and proactive or just OK stupid? Of what is this activity an indication? Of savvy, and, of savvy and wisdom or just desperation? Can we sum up ourselves in a few words and pictures? Or does this format Or does, the, or does this format impose inaccurate strictures? Can you tell if a person has the right looks? What, what does it mean if they read the right books? Does it matter if they're Buddhist, Christian, or Jew? If, they're, if their belly's too big or their nose is askew? Do they listen to the Beatles, Basie, or Bach? What do they think of our leader, Barack? And what of these tests we're, we're compelled to take? What of English genius? and 49% slut, what judgment do we make? But a search for a companion is part of life's pageant most rich. We look for qualities in which we find commonality and hopefully connection. So I'll continue to browse through this digital catalog and hope that my match is an allergic to my dog. Okay, this next one is uncharacteristically serious for me. It's called Musings of a Homo Sapien. To stare at the night sky is at infinity to gape. I want to grasp the earth so it won't escape from me and my fragile humanity. Despite gravity's strong pull, I feel close to insanity. Only the rarity of these feelings keep derangement at a distance, not thinking too much about the triviality of existence. Also quite small is our pale blue ball. Compared to the universe, it's also hardly anything at all. So in, the, so in the enormity, to each other we cling. Some perspective and comfort we hope it will bring. Because even though we're not even a notch in Orion's belt, the keenness of our being should be keenly felt. Just, just one more here. Everybody's heard Mary Had a Little Lamb, right? Okay. Yeah. Mary Had a Little Lamb as fleece was white as snow. Well, okay, I've modernized that one. Okay. Call, and I've entitled it, Mary Had a Little Lamb Incorporated. <laughs> okay. Mary loved her little lamb, but she also loved the long green doe. So she sheared that lamb and sold the wool, and into her pocket the money did go. But that money would only go so far. So she came up with another plan. She slaughtered the lamb and sold the meat, and an undertaking she then began. Mary, Mary, bought, Mary bought two lambs and did the same, and capital began to amass. Mary bought two lambs and did the same, and capital began to amass. Mary made a business of lambs and sheep, and her expectations it did surpass. So Mary loved her little lambs for the fortune they helped her build. From the suits and sweaters of their wool to their legs and chops when roasted or grilled. Thank you very much. Thank you.